Um, is there any kind of music that people would expect you not to listen to that you like? Flogging Molly and Dropkick Murphy. Okay. And Paul Barabue. I, I don't know who that is, but the first two I respect. Right. The fucking like Irish like punk rock. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude, that's I, cool. I have an Irish tattoo from yeah. Ireland. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Irish ink. Sure. I got it from a ink. Bra- I got it from a Brazilian dude who didn't speak. Oh, English. that's sad. Yeah. In in Ireland. Yeah. I would have been like, I'll find somewhere else. I it was at the <laughs> end of the. You know when you're just blackout drunk for a week. No. Oh, okay. You know when you go Never to Ireland? When you go oh, to Ireland. Oh, all right, all right, yeah. yeah. When you, yeah, they don't drink water. They drink Guinness. It's just like you go to the town like well. Yeah. You pull up a bucket <laughs> of whiskey. You're like, what the fuck? That's fucking Ireland. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get at the tattoo in the beginning of the trip, and I was like, I should probably experience Ireland before I go getting tattoos. Yeah, what if it sucks? Yeah. <laughs> and No, it was awesome, though. Yeah. But I... Um, I did the whole trip, and then by the end, it was one of those rushing things of like, mm. oh, shit, I forgot to do the tattoo. So I just went into the first shop I could find, <laughs> and it was just some <laughs> Brazilian dude. You did. You absolutely could have waited to get home to get a tattoo. No. no yes. I, 100%. I, 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 in fact, I, I, that's what Ireland. I would have done, because who knows what the fuck they're cleaning their tools with up there. Whiskey. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> it's clean. It's sterile. <laughs> uh, no, Honestly, it adds to the story for me. Yeah. It was just funny to me. Yeah, no, that is cool. But if I was like, fuck, 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 and then it was some dude that wasn't redheaded, I'd be like, you're not giving me an Irish tattoo, He's very dark. It's not happening. He could speak a little English, like a little bit. Did you just point to what you wanted? I had took a picture, and I was like, I brought up a picture. This. Yeah. (laughs) And he was like, yeah, okay, I can, yeah. That, just said, that was okay. what he knew in English. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says to everybody. They just come and they show him. Like, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he gets his job. Yeah. Um, how did you like? I didn't get to be there when you got your tattoo. Fuck you. How did you like it, dude? I okay. I didn't. I knew you were gonna be upset. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it was gonna hurt my feelings. I also didn't want to be the dude that just like brings a crowd. That's fair. Into the I don't know, it was just weird. Also the the it gets boring. Yeah. After a while I was like, okay, I'm kinda over this. Yeah. Yeah. How, and this was nothing. You know, this is pretty how much quick. You, how much did your call? Um I I don't even remember. It was like a hundred, I think, hundred and twenty. That's really cheap. Yeah. For what you got in the in I mean one. and I tipped him too, so it ended up being like one fifty. Right, right, but right. Wow. I'm happy with it. I don't regret it ever. Yeah. I've not regretted it at all. Same. So. There's like this, you feel like you're a part of this club, like this tattoo club for me. Mm, okay. Okay. I hate the, dude, oh my God. When I was in jury duty, and oh, of yeah. course the, uh, the um, what do they call him, the defendant? Yes. He was just all tatted up. This was like that um, biker gang murder case. Right, right, I remember this. That I didn't get chosen for, unfortunately. unfortunately. Yeah, I really wanted to be there. Anyway. And so, like, they were talking about, like, perception of tattoos and stuff. And, and dude, it's so funny to listen to these defense lawyers, like, just just fuck with people. What do you mean? What <laughs> like, they, like, they do kind of what you do, and they, like, they get them to say one thing, and then they, like, <laughs> n- but they, <laughs> they have something ready to, like, yeah. come back at, like, this defense lawyer has definitely defended dude with, dudes with tattoos a million times. Yeah. And... These people have done done jury duty maybe three times, and so like, I don't know they they I don't know they're just very good at like picking people apart. It's it's hard to explain. I'm not. A good I agent. I think. All right, let me see if I get it. So basically, you try to lead the person down this road and make them believe that their these are their thoughts, and then they when they get to an answer. You already know what their answer is going to be because you've led them down this road, and then you flip they put it on you them. in positions where like it doesn't matter what you say, there's no right answer. I wish you had an example, but I know you probably don't. Nothing specific. It was too long ago. Yeah, oh, wow. 
But you get these people that would be like, I don't think anything different about people with tattoos. I have tattoos of my own. See, I have this one here and this one's visible. And they just start rambling about how they don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just like this weird thing of like, it's like I'm dating a black guy. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like that. Yes. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I am, if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm trying to do everything in my power to not talk about COVID right now. Yeah. Are you also trying no. to? No. Okay. No? I wasn't trying. Oh, I was. Oh, okay. It, it's the only thing in my head. Um, you talk about tattoos. Tattoos again? I guess. Oh, so anyway, so I was just in there, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, gonna, it didn't hurt. You're going to get more, right? Yeah, eventually, yeah. Sleep? I afford it. Mm. I don't know yet. Are you, I, I feel like you should just get D&D everywhere. Just dragons <laughs> and dudes with, with helmets. And you guys' char- characters? Yeah, get my character. <laughs> oh, can you get it? Okay, on your back. Here, No, okay. Here's It'll be great. So it's a picture of me. My face is superimposed on like a really buff, agile body, like a, an Assassin's Creed body. And then... <laughs> like Michael Jordan? Yeah. And then it's 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 like hanging from the back of your neck on a rope mm. over a, over a moat filled with alligators that mm. have lasers connected to their heads. Oh, okay. I'm do basically this is what I do in D and D. Yeah. When we play D and D, this is what I did. Yeah. Uh and it and and I'm also shooting webs like Spider Man out of the other hand. Yeah. Okay, you should get that tattoo. I'm not gonna do that. How much money? <laughs> You'd have to pay for it and then some. Okay. If and I, then a, not that and then some and then a lot. <laughs> then a lot more. And then a lot. All right. If I paid, if I paid for the tattoo, so you didn't even didn't need to pay for the tattoo, and you got a hundred thousand. Oh yeah, I'd do that. Really? Yeah, I was thinking you were gonna start at like ten thousand. I was gonna say yes to that. Am I? I feel like my, <laughs> I fucked up with my numbers. Yeah, I'd do it for a hundred k. Really? Yeah. How much? What, what does a hundred k get you? Because I don't know numbers, and you know. Them. I don't know. I've never had a hundred thousand dollars. Fair. How many? Let's see. Let's see. What can you buy with a hundred thousand dollars? I mean, that's like four years worth of income for me. A to Z things you can buy for. Okay, here we go. Did you hear me? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Four years of income for me, roughly. So you could just live off of that. Pretty much. Yeah. Be worth it. Yeah, you can buy. I'm saying, dude, you can buy forty thousand avocados. I'm good. I don't want to hear the rest of this list. (laughs) Whatever this fucking BuzzFeed asshole put on there, I don't want to hear it. Netflix description subscription for the rest of your life. This is goofy as fuck. Fifty puppies. This is stupid. That is so dumb. This is really dumb. Hundred k, dude. I bet you could get a helicopter for like less than fifty k. I don't know. You know, man, that is such (laughs) an unfathomable amount of money for me. I know. I can't even imagine. I know. I I still want to. I went into a tattoo shop um, two days ago. I was I was scoping out spots to perform more, and I went in and there was this the dude was like, "Well, what do you what do you want?" I was like, "I want to get Wakanda tattooed in the bottom of my lip," and he looks over at this other tattoo artist who looks like a, a neo Nazi, and the guy looks up and he looks irritated, and I just started roasting him. Which was fun. I just got. I was. I was just like because he was doing a tattoo. It was like he couldn't. He couldn't stop and come after me. So, <laughs> oh, dude, what if he just came at you and just tattooed tattoo. your forehead? <laughs> <just> fucking. <laughs> dirt. I told. I said. I based off his reaction. I said something like, uh, like he looks like he's gonna tattoo white power in my lip. And dude, how funny would that be? Though? Oh, I mean, it would be. It would, <laughs> it would upset me, but it'd be really it'd be funny. A great joke. It'd be a great joke. <laughs> it'd be a great joke. I think. I think comics are terrible people because we we value jokes overall. Yeah. There's something about like if a joke is really good, I don't care what happens. It has to be really good though. Yeah. Really solid punchlines. Fuck. Like putting white power instead of Wakanda. Yeah. That's that that is a good little, it. it's a bait and Especially switch. Especially when you go check what I get. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. When do you, when do you think we're going to Never mind. It's been so much time. I was, it's hard to say. And I, don't, I, I can't say normal anymore because there's just it's there's not no way. It's be normal. We're going to have to keep wearing masks. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Um, it just sucks because I like mouths. 
I think you can take it off on stage. I like because <clears throat> it's gonna fuck with the your face. You oh, can't. on stage, yeah, absolutely. I was just talking about looking at people. Oh yeah, we're gonna be seeing masks a yeah, lot. I just I don't know. I'd rather see somebody's mouth. Yeah, there's something about it. There's a lot more in em- emotion. Yeah, you get better insight yeah. in the mouth. I've been seeing people walk around. Yo, I Plus saw like the a most good smile. You know, I appreciate a good smile. Also, you can't tell when you're smile like yeah. dude, the other day there was this kid, I don't remember, I was in the store or some bullshit, and you know, you pass by a mom and a kid and they're just staring at you. So I like smile at them, right? And I was like, Oh, it just looks like I'm staring at this kid right now. Yeah. And nobody can see me smile. Just We should put maybe we can start like an invention where like there's a little button and then it creates digitally a smile or angry face. That would be cool. I mean, there are like see through masks. Those are weird. Mm, Those are creepy. I've never seen them. I don't know how they don't like fog up. I saw the most distasteful mask. I will tell you what it is. Okay. So the the Trump people they they're f- they didn't want to wear masks, and then he started wearing a mask. So they're like, okay, we'll wear a mask. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that them sucking his dick? Uh, I think it was like like a puppy dog ah, following right. him. I get you. And so <laughs> there are these masks. That are are MAGA masks that I, f- I saw an old lady wear, and it says, "I can't breathe on it." Then it says under that, "Make America Great Again." Wow, that is the most distasteful, <laughs> fucked up, <sighs> right? And they talk about lack of respect for like the flag. And I shit. know, dude. You should see. I so <clears throat> in baseball right now, a lot of teams. During the national anthem or like taking a knee and stuff. Nice. I th- I didn't even know they were playing. Yeah, they started last week. And wait, how is that working for the audience for the crowd? There's nobody there. All right, whatever. Okay. I don't care at this point. I just want to see baseball. It's understandable. And basketball is doing it too. Also understandable. They're playing in a bubble. They call it the bubble. <laughs> they they marketed it well. But um, but like when you go on like. Facebook or it doesn't matter, you know, social media and you go to the comments on their posts, even if the posts aren't related to like the, I I guess I'll call it politics. Yeah. It's still people like, oh, if they're going to kneel, I'm not going to watch anymore. And it's like, good. I, I put on Facebook the other day, I was like, white people are mad at the, at major league baseball and I can't wait to go to a game and not hear someone coach from behind me. Because that's all white people love to do. Like, oh, if I would have been in this situation, you know what I would have done? I would have called it hit and run. I would have switched this guy and this guy. He should have been playing over that way. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up from back in the nosebleeds. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fu- Who the fuck are you? You can't even afford good tickets. You can't coach this team. If fuck you, you knew what you were doing, you'd be a coach. Exactly. You wouldn't be in the yeah. fucking Yeah, shut the fuck up, man. It's... I hate that shit. Every t- every fucking game, dude. And as somebody that knows baseball, I just like I hear these people talk. I'm like, dude, and they're wrong. Too. You're wrong. Yeah. Like, and it's like you can't make that you after the fact. You know, yeah. shut the fuck up. I'm just go watch the game. I'm, dude, I, I'm blown away. It's weird. Like, okay, so I I was doing the upland shit, and then I was talking with white man. White people really like me. That's good. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, versatile, like Kevin Hart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if white people like Kevin I Hart. I don't know if I think they've given up on him because he's, he, I don't know. I gave up on him after he did that movie for Quibi or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I was just oh, joking. okay. I was, had <clears throat> Quibi made what a was movie? It, um, what happened to Quibi? I forgot about I Quibi. I think it went off. It's dead? Well, they can't make anything. So yeah, it's yeah. like after that initial release. Yeah. That was the biggest waste of yeah, money. dude. Yeah, I'd um, be upset if I was no. There. But he did um, like an action movie. Oh, Die Hard. Die Hard. I Wasn't that it. on like Quibi no, or some bullshit like that? I didn't watch that. I didn't watch that. Mm. But I was talking with the whites, and um, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, okay, let's be, let's just be real here. I really want to know your opinions, and I'm going to tell you my opinions, and they probably are going dis- to differ with you. And I was like, I, Colin Kaepernick, like honestly. How did you feel about that? And both of the dudes, white dudes, were, um, they were, they felt, you could tell that they felt bad, but they were like, I was offended by that. And they didn't say anything more. There's, I, I thought it was offensive. Mm. And I was like, okay, why? And he said, well, it's disrespecting America. 
I said, okay. For me, America's never wanted me here and has treated me like shit and so on and so forth. And so I could give a shit if it's dis- it's not disrespecting America, but right. I could give a shit yeah. whether it is or not. Because mm. America has not, I have no incentive. Even if that was the, the point, yeah. which it wasn't, but you could fee- it's the they're so brainwashed that they know that they're wrong. I can see it in them. Like they look ashamed of themselves that they're still arguing this, but they're still arguing it. Mm. It's so fascinating. Mm. It really said. I think it speaks a lot to the fucking the brainwashing they do, making us say the pledge of allegiance as a kid. And doing all this crazy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> it's disturbing. That's interesting. It's like they're afraid of making their parents mad at them. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So you're a fucking nigger lover? <laughs> no, dad. I never said no, that. No, I don't like the niggers. I'm just saying we don't, <laughs> I don't think they deserve to die. Maybe we just keep them around for a while. Yeah, you know? they, they play good basketball. Yeah. And they make music. Um, I like the... the the rainbow colored dreads. How do you feel about people that get mad at black celebrities for using their platform to? I could give a fuck who is <laughs> mad anymore. It's just so ridiculous, dude. It's like, why, don't you, why are you using your platform for political jargon? And they're like, uh, because that's all they have. Yeah. Well, who else is going to do it? Who else are people going to listen to besides LeBron James, the biggest NBA player of the last 25 years? I'm it's so stupid. I, I'm, I, it's like, you remember, okay, Nick Cannon got in some hot water. Yeah. Did you hear about that? I did. Did you listen to what he said? No. Okay. What did he say? He, we would have to, I don't want to misquote it because it's, it's interesting, but he, in fact, I don't, I don't, I, we would, ha, you would have to listen to it. All right. Here's my Nick Cannon moment. No, potentially. I have internet on the computer. Oh, I could bring it up, but yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Is there something in, <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Here comes the sound bite. I know, I know. Is there something? Because you can't, okay. Melanin or lack of melanin does not make you evil. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Human beings, regardless of race, have the capacity for evil. Yes. Seems a little overwhelmingly evil with white people. There seems like <laughs> a lot of evil seems to be coming from that for some reason. <laughs> like a, a, a disturbing amount, an, an unbalanced amount. I'll tell you what that is, dude. Okay. It's religion. Okay. I'm listening. That's it, man. Well, every culture has religion. Yeah, but not Christianity. The Mexicans? Mm. They're Catholic? Mm, Catholicism. That's, that's different. Oh, they add well, raping kids. still. I mean, but why do they have Catholicism? Uh, the Spaniards. Exactly. All right. White uh, people. It all goes back to that religion, dude. But Christianity. All right. Even with that, because there have been plenty of other religions that have murdered in the name of their own gods. Oh, yeah. Religion in general is terrible, but Christianity is the worst one. I. God damn. All right, don't make me defend white people. Why are you I'm doing not. this? Because you know I'm a uh, Christian, and you know that this is the flip that you're going to yeah, do. Yeah, but, I mean, that's pretty accurate. Yes, uh, okay, but, all right, why did that not work the same way in other religions? Why did the Buddhists not be like, fuck it, let's go kill everybody? Like, why? Uh, I, they, I don't think they had the technological advancement. <clears throat> is they... Like Europeans had guns, yeah, and ships, means to overpower. Okay, on top of a religion that says, "Push me, make more people believe, make them succumb." Why? Okay, but even now, though, taking religion out of it, white people aren't arguing religion right now. Well, no, because it's been diluted. Why are they still evil then? Like, there's plenty of atheist white people that seem very racist still, which is so strange to me. Oh, I don't know about that. 
Yeah. I didn't tell you about my roommate. But whatever, what if they've learned, though, comes from uh, Christian roots. Fair enough. Okay. That would make sense. I didn't tell you about my roommate, then. Guess not, dude. My old, my old, um, my freshman uh, college roommate, one of them, I'm not going to say his name, um, he, I want to say used to be racist, but I haven't talked to him in many <laughs> years. And God only, I can assure you he would not be voting for Biden, knowing him as a person. And who knows what all of this stuff has done to his brain. It's turned into a little Play-Doh mush, probably. Yeah. But uh, at least for the context of the time, he used to be incredibly racist. But he was also very atheist. And his only reasoning for not liking black people was because he grew up in Apple Valley. And then a lot of black and Mexican people came in from like L.A., apparently. Mm-hmm. According to him, a lot of them came in from L.A., and those people happen to have brought gang culture and drug culture. Oh, so he's just dumb. Y- yeah. Uh, well, Kay. he's he's using an- um, what is it? Anecdotal, purely yeah. anecdotal from this moment evidence. But he was in high school. He was yeah. a kid when this happened. Yeah. It's just like uh, American History X. Where it's yeah. Like, yeah, the yeah. Dude, he's probably not thinking this way, and then a black guy kills his dad, and it's like, poof. it just, and especially at a young age. You don't know how to process that. Right. Because they're not taught. It's, I think what's making me so, uh, what's dragging me down emotionally is knowing that within my lifetime, this will not be solved. There's no fucking way. Not likely. No. I. No, because it's going to take generations until people are like, wait, what are you, what, what, uh, what line of culture do you come from? That's going to be great when everybody is just brown. It's yeah. like a shade of brown. We'll find some other reason. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we'll find some other reason to kill each other. But Yeah, and it's gonna revolve around religion too. <laughs> Think so? Yeah, hundred percent. It's so interesting. I <sighs> Dude, like every war is because of some kind of so why am I not an idiot? Religion or ideology? Well, I mean, okay. Before we even start, I am an idiot. <laughs> let's no. Let's get this out of the way now. Yep, I'm Me an too. idiot. We're both idiots. We're both idiots. But why? Uh, why is that? Why is it that I can take in religious thought without the extreme brainwashing? Because you already have a different outlook. I mean, I grew up. I grew up in the church. Yeah. So what do you mean? But you're. I mean, you grew up black, though. That's very, very black. So yes. Was it a black church? No, <laughs> no, no. I didn't. I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so. It was a Blue Lives Matter church but, uh, is what it was. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, they're not going to like overtly. It's, well, now they're not. It's not like they're going to preach racism. Did I not? You watched. Y- you told me. Yeah. Yeah. You told me. Should I put some context into this? Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I in another episode. Yeah, probably. So I um, I filmed a, a special. I'm going to call it a one man show because that shit is not a comedy special. Um, and I told one of these stories in this, the thing, and basically. This just proves my point. What? That religion is racist. The but r- the root of all racism. Their logic had nothing to do with religion. It was, it was like. So, okay, regardless, my, my mentor, he's white, and the other youth pastors were there. They're all white. And we were arguing about uh, black people saying uh, the N-word or whatever, white people saying it in rap songs in particular. And he said that uh, there were niggers of every race. There were white niggers, black niggers, Mexican niggers, Asian niggers, so on and so forth. At church. To the only black kid. Is this a Chris Rock bit? Yeah. <laughs> he No, no. It made me so mad. He, he took, was just quoting Chris Rock. He was quoting a Chris Rock thing, oh. but he didn't understand... The- the idea behind it. Yeah, that he didn't understand the yeah. point. He didn't understand the difference in what Chris Rock was talking about. And he doesn't understand he didn't understand the difference of like, yeah, that word is specifically for black people. That mm. that was made for black people. And he just didn't Yeah. Oh, I'm very curious. So it's it's ignorance at that point. <laughs> but it, it, at this point it feels like desired ignorance. Because now, well, yeah, because they want to feel better. Right. Yeah, they want to feel like they're still better. Man, e- check your fucking ego. It's weird how like if you would just go into like any, let's go to Norco and go to our church there and be like, "Hey, are, are you racist?" 
Nobody's going to say yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? Norco? Yeah. I think a few people will be like, yeah, of course. <laughs> if you ask, they'll be like, yeah, of course. Right, right. If right, I ask, right. I'll be dead. Right, right. Dude, you want to you take a trip to Norco? No. You want to wear some body cams, see what happens? No, every time I go there for like mics and stuff, I just I don't feel comfortable. Why don't you feel comfortable? I don't know, man. Like, do you feel like you're in danger? No, I just feel like I don't. They're going to say racist shit to you? I don't want to like be. You don't want to become one of them? Not become, but I, I don't want other people to think I'm one of them. Right. That's why I like living in the hood and shit. That's fair. <laughs> it's I think there's something wrong with me. Same. Yeah. I'm gonna elaborate on my 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 thought. I think there's something wrong with you too. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Oh dude, man, I think I'm at a point where I, I think I might truly hate my family. Uh not all of them. Sorry. So I had this moment. You're gonna like <laughs> why this. you smile. You're gonna uh, cause I hate my family. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little tear comes out. Yeah. Head. So we were doing a. Um, you're gonna really like this, I think. Okay. So I had just, I just finished, uh, I just finished watching Last Dance. Oh, okay. Have you seen it? No. <laughs> I don't have Netflix anymore. Oh. Huh. huh. Trying to save money. Uh, okay. So I was watching Last <laughs> Dance. Basically, <laughs> you seem like you had to process the idea of not spending as much money. No, no, I had to process the idea of not having Netflix. Yeah, it's pretty wild. That but I have good. YouTube. I watch a bunch of shit on YouTube. Uh, I believe it. Podcasts and yeah. shit. But I was watching Last Dance, and you know, have you ever watched a, like, okay, you remember watching Whiplash? Yeah. I'm assuming it made mm. you want to drum. Yeah. Last Dance is like that times a thousand. For basketball? For, for no, winning for, a championship? For just winning. <laughs> being a fucking winner? Just being a fucking winner. Yeah, and I was like. He's a goddamn maniac. Yeah. I was jacked. I was like, I'm going to be a comedian no matter what, and anyone yeah. gets in my way. Like, I was, I was like in it. And I just finished it. And so it was my grandma's birthday. We have a Zoom thing with everybody in um, everybody in my family. It's my, my grandma, my aunts, uncle, East Coast, everything. And, you know, there's the oh, happy birthday, all the bullshit. And I'm being quiet. I'm not saying anything. You know, minding my own business. Because you guys are on the same we're device, all, right? We're all, no, I'm out here. She was oh, in here. Oh, okay. So, so they're, <laughs> then they go through all the cousins and my brothers, and they're like, what are you doing? Oh, what are your plans? What are you trying to do? And they get to me. and they say, and well, I'm just here trying not to blow my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> I have this gun. You guys want to see? No, uh, let's play some Russian I have roulette. the means. I know, right? Um, but I, <coughs> they, uh, they get to me. My auntie makes a joke. She's like, oh, you, you, this is where you want to be or whatever, some shit. And I was like, oh, no. And they all laugh. And they're like, what do you want to do? And I said, I told them my RV plan and everything because they were all like, there. Oh, you want to be homeless. That's <laughs> cool. You have such high <laughs> standards. I know. Uh, lofty goals you got there, Aaron. So they, they yeah. So <laughs> the people I have the issue with, I'm going to say, was my grandmother. Not anymore because she's old. All right. You, can yeah. you get to a point where Sleepy, it's like. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> And I just don't get it. And yeah, like you get to a place. She, dude, when when um the when they were whittling down the DNC people, she was like, "I'm not voting for what is the gay, the gay one, oh, Buddha, Buddha, Buddha judge? Buddha judge. I'm not voting for a gay to go into." <laughs> and it's like you get to a place. At least she didn't call him a fag. I, that's you know? fair. And she, <laughs> but you get to a place where it's like you're old. Just I'm just gonna let you be old, right? And I'm staying here. I'm taking care of her, and she's taking. There's a synergy, there's an understanding, right? So I'm less mad with my grandma at this point. Now it's focused more on my mom, my aunt, uh-huh. and I like. They made some sort of snarky remark to me saying, "I I just want to be a stand-up comedian," and they made a snarky remark. Someone did, and like Michael Jordan, the heart of Michael Jordan came out in me. And I just had this stone face, and I said something like, I'm going to be a stand-up comedian, and anybody who gets in my way gets knocked over. Nobody and nothing else matters to me but being a stand-up comedian. And I just let it be quiet, and then that was the end. of That was literally, my aunt was like, all right, I guess okay. we're going <laughs> to. And it felt so, oh, it felt so good. 
because they all they didn't have shit to say. They to couldn't that. say shit. Yeah. And because w- the the trick that they would do my whole life is I would be with one at a time. So if I'm dealing with my mom, nobody else is around. So she's ignoring me, doesn't give a fuck, and is just <laughs> whatever. And then she gossips to my grandmother, who gossips to my aunt. Mm-hmm. And then they have this little circle. So because there were witnesses, because everyone was there, they weren't going to say shit. So it, it's out there now. And if you say shit to me, I'm going to let the rest of the family know. This is the only way to win is through gossip and manipulation. And here, here's why I am the person I am. Because I was raised by fucking women, by vaginas. Yeah, stupid and, bitches. And it just it just felt good. It just felt good to be to lay it very clear to my family. Like we're we're not playing this bullshit anymore. I'm damn near thirty. You're not going to tell me not to pursue my dreams. Right. Uh, and <clears throat> and I'm really disgusted with them. Uh, I you remember? I'm so sorry. It's I'm, okay. I gotta, I gotta get it Your out. Your life is sad. It's very sad. Because my parents support me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dreams, yeah. mentally and emotionally, yeah, financially, they're like, everything. They're actually proud of me. What? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I know. I I keep telling them like you're not supposed to. Yeah, but no, yeah, they do. That they are very proud because they're like like they're proud that I had the gall. Yeah. To move to California, like, dude. In Michigan, that's not that's yeah. You don't do like you don't get into show business. It's just not a thing. I feel like they had they feel like you had gumption, and I had gall. Sure, you know I what don't I mean? know the difference. Gumption is. I like, was gonna say gumption first, yeah. but then I switched to gall. First. Gu- I don't know why. Gumption's like the the cojones. Yeah, and gall is like. Do you really think you matter? Hmm. You have the gall. Interesting. Positive and negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, both starting with G. Yeah. I'm sure it's some Illuminati shit. Yeah. Um, but I told you the first time I had to deal with skinheads, right? Yeah. Okay. It was in the, the thing. Yeah. So I found out, <laughs> dude, I was talking to my cousin, and he was like, oh, yeah, man, they, they've been gossiping about you since you were a kid. I was like, what? <laughs> and he was, like, he was like, yeah. You remember that first skinhead thing? They started gossiping about that over the phone. I remember them talking about that. They never talked to me. I was. They didn't believe you. No, they, <laughs> <laughs> no like, he was probably just making shit up. No, they because the, it, obviously it happened, yeah. but they they never sat me down and were like, "This wasn't your fault," or "How do you fi-? explain?" None of like, that yeah. shit. They were they just let that happen to me and then gossip to each other about it. Like my family is dog shit, and by my family, I specifically mean my mom, my aunt, and my grandmother. Far less my grandmother now. Yeah. Um. It's, it is re- like the quarantine shit is really eye opening to that. And every time it feels like every time we do this podcast, I peel back another layer of depravity mm-hmm. and, and depression. Yeah, I'll get to the, the center <laughs> eventually, <laughs> like an onion. Yep, eventually the onion's got to end eventually. Yeah. So, but it's all good. I'm happy. That's good. Thanks. I'm so happy. That's good. Yeah, quarantine's great. Well, minus all the other bullshit. Yeah. It's fine. I don't. I can see why you hate people. They're annoying. Yeah, yeah. They're like the the longer quarantine went, and the happier I became. The more I started to realize a good deal of my unhappiness was just because I had to deal with people. Watching bad comedy for no. two hours a <laughs> night. Not even, yo. I didn't tell you about. Well, yeah, but. I didn't tell you about that. I did Danny Frank's podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, I told Zero about this. Apparently, there were comics who were mad at me because I didn't sit down and watch their sets. Oh, I'm so sorry. (laughs) Oh, you didn't get you didn't get the producer to watch your set. Dude, who are you doing it for? Me. That's so sad. If you're only there to like. Impress a booker to Get on a show, you're not a real comic. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm there for first of all myself because I'm pathetic and I'm a depressed motherfucker. Yeah. Second of all, I'm there to make other people laugh. I don't care what if I other think, yeah. any other comic. I literally couldn't care if none of you watched. In fact, I would like that better. Yeah. Just everybody go, go talk in the parking lot. I don't care. I I don't like. Like uh, I'll figure it out myself. Yeah. You know what I mean. I have the fucking wherewithal to be like, okay, this sucked. I need to fucking 
I don't need somebody else to sit me down and be like, so here's what I think you said. Okay. Hey, you, you, what you need to do less is grab the mic stand. You can't grab the mic stand. I'm like, dude, I'll fucking, I'll do what I want. Okay. Yeah. Just do, 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 do with your own thing. Go ahead. Zero had a similar reaction, just less douchey. Yeah. <laughs> Like what a what a fucking crybaby, dude! I don't you know. Watch my shit. I don't know who it. Not Danny. Danny didn't do that. No, I I was just. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He was just saying. That apparently, I understood what you said. You said people. Yeah, apparently yeah. people were upset about that. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. which Get over yourself. It's. Yeah, and so that's why I like corn. Is like I don't have to, do this. There was a point where where I finally was able to chill out. Yeah. just exist. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't have to book anything. I don't have to wrangle anybody. I don't have to time anything. I, I, have, to do, I have to do things for myself, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And the, the level of weight that just slid off of my shoulders, I was like, oh, this is, I love this. I'm just going to keep trying to not be around people. Yeah, dude, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah. It's been awesome. It's been so nice. People suck. I wonder. I've been saying this for years. No, Nobody just, believed me. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 not even. It's just like, I think it's about it's about finding your tribe. Yeah, it's finding the people that you don't think suck or suck in the same way that you right, suck. Right, right. Like I suck. Yeah, and you suck. Yeah, for sure. But we can suck together. Yeah, it's called sixty nine, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. bro, sixty nine. Yeah. I'm about to be alone too. <laughs> Speaking of which, hold on. I'm not gonna. I'm not oh. gonna say any. No, I'm not gonna say anything. I just hold on. I'm just curious. I want to make sure. Oh shit! God damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. We'll we'll talk about that shit off air. Uh. Yeah. Even with even with relationships, I'm doing better i'm healthier just healthier you know yeah 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 <laughs> why yeah. do people listen to yeah. this they probably don't no people listen really people people like people really like it when i have kj on mm. it's annoying he's a cool motherfucker no nah, he's stupid <laughs> you hear that kj you hear me old nigga Oh, whoa, nigga. Whoa. Yeah, nigga. We call No, we calling out. We calling out. We talking that shit. Okay. 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 Young man. Oh, I'm ca- he ain't even young. He old. Yeah. He, oh, he withered. Yeah. He withered. Yeah. He like, he like the, the, the witch in, uh, in, in Snow White. Youngest thing about him is that tiger's hat. Yeah. Yeah. What? I don't know. Well, neither do I. <laughs> no, KJ, KJ's actually been a lot of help for me, <clears throat> which has been good. It's good, dude. Yeah. He's a person. Sure is. Yeah. Do you ever think like people aren't people? Okay, we're gonna can you elaborate? I don't know, dude. I just like I see some people just like operate. I'm like, are you alive? Oh, just like going through the motion? Yeah, are you, like I don't know, man. I just sometimes I, I can't I can't not be a stand up. Yeah. But going back to like your whole thing about this what that's what I'm gonna do. I feel the same way. I'm not one to like vocalize it as much, yeah. but like whenever I think about like, especially because right now I'm getting a taste of like normal, normal life. Ugh. It's so boring. Yeah, I like I have my video games that I'm playing, but even that I'm getting like okay, like I'm kind of over it, and like I just want to do comedy because you know you just want to do it, and yeah, I I can't I couldn't. I couldn't just work and then come home and exist. Chill. You go eat some spaghetti, yeah. jerk off, go to sleep. Go to sleep and then do it all again just so you can keep existing. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It's That's why I support Jeff Bezos having 110 billion dollars cuz he did a thing. Yeah. Yeah. If you start a company from the ground up and it gets that valuable, then you can have that money. Yeah. And you can underpay your employees. I think there there should be a a government required, like a government mandated hobby. <laughs> you have to have. You a have hobby. to have a fucking I agree. hobby. I agree. To whittle, paint some shit, do yeah, something. I agree. Some of these people, like I'll use my, I'll use my punk ass family as an example, just so I don't hurt anybody else's feelings. Mm-hmm. Um, also, 
if, if, if for whatever reason, if they ever listen to this in the future, just know the only reason I'm airing this out out here is because they would never let me air this out in at the home. Never listen. You should have done it at the Zoom session. No, they wouldn't have. They would have fuck, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. You remember when you took my 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 candy, bitch? You remember that? All right. Anyway, so. Yeah, you should have done that. Yeah, uh, well, regardless, I got to say what I wanted to say. Right. Um, but my my mom, and I'm, it's just clicking to me. My mom does not have a hobby, and it never has had a hobby, to my knowledge, but has always had the news on. Oh, that's not healthy at all. No, not at all. And same with my grandma. I actually, mm-hmm. when COVID started, I was like, hey, maybe you should watch something other than CNN. <laughs> watch Murder, She Wrote <laughs> or something. something. <laughs> Fucking Matlock. Or I actually. Magnum P.I. That's three old people shows that start with M. I don't know how they I come not up with that it, number. Yeah. I, letter. I, um, I tried to convince her to watch The People vs. O.J., I was like, that's perfect. It's <laughs> oh. perfect because she's already experienced this is another angle. It's entertaining. Like yeah. and it's the true crime. Like she should really like that. Wouldn't do it. And my mom wouldn't do it. And they like it's like the people who don't have a thing that they do, are they all they can focus on is what's happening in the news, in the world. Yeah. And it's really unhealthy. Like you need a thing to do. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, mandated so I have video games, man. Yeah, but even that, it, there's you're losing its it's losing its shine, right? Yeah, but that's why you get new games and you yeah, switch it up, you know. But I buy thing. I mean, like a passion that you would do. Well, I guess video games. Fair enough. Um, but well, no, finish that thought. A I'm passion. Curious what you're gonna say? A passion that you would do regardless of money. Yeah. Like we would do stand up comedy. We've been doing stand up comedy regardless of money. Yeah. And. D and D, I would do D and D regardless of money. Yeah. And it seems like a lot of people don't do any goddamn thing. Yeah, I was doing the street stand. I was asking people, just grasping at straws to talk to people. I was like, "What? What's like a thing you guys do? Or what do you? What's watch Netflix? Here's how I word. Not it. a hobby, by the way. Yeah, no, not a hobby. That's <laughs> that's shutting your brain that's off. That's entertainment. That's not a hobby. Well, oh. I I think in the way that me and Bryce watch movies is different. Yeah, I agree. I'll, yeah, but I agree. With that's that. not how the but average person. Eighty nine percent of Americans are not watching movies yeah, like no. that. But um, I was I was talking I was gushing about stand up and I was like, is there anything you guys have passion about? I would do that a lot. People would just, ooh, ooh, that's like, weird. It's so weird. Even if it's like working out, lifting weights. It's like, okay, <laughs> anything, nothing. Yeah. It's maybe they just didn't want to reveal their lives. I just love making butt plugs. I make my own <laughs> homemade butt plugs and I try them out on myself. Some are yeah. snug and yeah. I don't like those. Yeah. Probably those white dudes that don't like Kaepernick kneeling. They love butt plugs? Yeah, probably. I don't know how you could still be mad about that. Like now, it, it, let's say you're an idiot at the it's time. It's because it's carried over yeah. and now he's like back in the league. So, but it's getting more traction. My, my thing with it is like, if you were stupid enough to believe the rhetoric that it was about the military, the flag or whatever at the time, fine. Okay. Really fine. No, not really. But (laughs) cause like, that's pretty dumb too. It is super dumb, but I'm trying to be like understanding. I think it's time to stop. I know. Right. Yeah. But, but you don't have to understand those people. (sighs) They don't have a logical way of thinking. But so for me, it's like. If you were upset about it then, that's one thing. If you're upset about it now, mm. like you have problems, you re- really like yeah. you need something else to focus on. D- yeah, you, also, you saw a man get murdered. You saw many people get murdered. I feel like I forgot about the whole Kaepernick situation until they brought it up again, like what, recently. Yeah. Like I just not that I forgot. Like obviously, like yeah. But like when it came up, I was like, oh yeah, that happened. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he did it for two years, you and know, it was like this is this issue. You know what I mean? And, uh, like I don't know. I just. It doesn't bother because I well I understood it from the get go, mm-hmm. so I wasn't tripping about it. It's even those people, those dudes I was talking to, they were like, "Well, if he had just said why he was doing," it, I was like, "Well, he he did. <laughs> he didn't listen." Yeah, you just didn't. You were you were taking in Fox News probably, right. and they right. told you different information. Get that son of a bitch off the field! God damn it! You, if he if he wins again, oh, he's gonna. You you don't think? Because he's been fucking up. I don't know what's real anymore. I know. It's hard to tell. The, it's funny because the polls are in Biden's favor right now. Yeah, but. But that don't mean shit. We found out four years ago. Because yeah. Hillary was ahead in the polls, too. And it, 
it just feels like maybe I'm giving America too much credit, but it feels like he's fucked up so bad that there has to be enough people be like, this actually isn't. I regret. I don't know, man. Maybe quite a few people will die in the next old people. Three months. These yeah. old people in 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 office. It don't make sense. They need to die. Yeah, I just. And I, this is, by the way, genuinely. They this should is just not leave. Me. Like at this point, like they should realize that. Oh, I'm not. I guess I'm not in touch with the. But they don't care. They don't. It this isn't. Matter. I thought about running for office. Like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then and then you smoked, and you like that was stupid. No, I was high while I thought of it. Oh, of course you were. And I kept smoking, and I was just like, it's too much work. Too much work. Too much money. And they're going to delve into your per- personal life. They're going to hear you say faggot on this. Yeah, but that, I, 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 could, I could work my way out of that. Look, I have a gay friend. <laughs> <laughs> if you, okay, if you suck a gay dude's dick, but you're not gay, uh-huh. do you then earn the right? No. Okay, let's say you sucked a black gay dude's dick. Do you earn the right to say nigger and faggot? No. No? No. Unless, mm, no. No, you got to prove your gayness, dude. Just one time. Like, let him know. If, if you straight up say, like, you know, I, I sucked a big black dude's dick and I um, I didn't like it. I'm, 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 I'm definitely straight. He can't say faggot. What if you, <laughs> what if you do it and you realize mm. that you enjoyed it? Mm. Could you then start using the words? Sure, because okay. that makes you one, right? I mean, anybody can use them. Be real. Yeah, that's the thing that that was the other thing I started to get mad about. I think I even said it again in a little special. The the PC police, yeah, thing that like, no, you can say whatever you want. It's a matter of context and accepting responsibility for people's reactions to right, it. Right, like, I think. We are saying the words that we're saying right now for comedic effect because we're having a discussion about it and because I think it's very clear we have no ill intent. Anyone with common sense would understand yeah. what, you know, that we are having a discussion and we are comics and the intention is to be humorous. Right. That's basically what happened, like, with Joey Diaz. What, do you, what happened with him? He, like, dude, somebody dug up, I don't want to say dug up because it was public domain but like one of joe rogan's old podcasts uh, like back in the day and joey diaz was on there talking about how he used to have like girls in the comedy store like suck his dick like to get on stage and joe was like how many how many girls did you do this to and he's like i don't know like 20 or something Jesus. And, just, and and yeah like it's fucked up but it's like he's being joey diaz you know all right i'm gonna play devil's advocate to that that's the same thing you could say about, I guess, anybody that's getting outed right now. Uh, no, but now I guess it's different because Joey's always been that. Mm-hmm. And, and then and he was and he was just like anybody that like said anything, he just went after him, and he was just like no regrets. He yeah. was, he and then he like the next day on his Twitter posted like. Like, if he thinks that that story was bad, check this out. And posted <laughs> a different story of him, like, having sex with a one-legged woman. It's like, oh, like he just says fucked up shit. Who yeah. knows how much of it is true? true? Right, that's true. Well, he's always talking about verified. Like, he's, always, <laughs> he's always talking about how it's true. Dude, so. But I, I don't right, know, man. If he did, what, what is the story? So the 20 girls, what, what did he actually say he did? I don't, I, I don't want to be specific. I don't fucking know. Oh, okay, okay. Do you think that's wrong? Like, if I did that. If I if, if to get on stage you had to suck my dick if you're a girl that's like wrong right yeah oh okay we're on the same page about that yeah is it different because it was the '80s I assume it was the '80s I don't think it's different but it's it's like the way he was he was just telling a story right and so it's like it's I don't know it was funny yeah was, that sounds pretty funny like when he se- tells it it's, it's funny it's yeah. Why is that? Why is it it's okay to say damn near anything as long as it's funny? What is that? Because that, that's what you're supposed to do. No, not even as a comic. <laughs> oh, like there's something. A there's something about that where I, you can get. I've said a lot of crazy shit on the street, and because it's it shows intelligence. Mm. Okay. It's not. Well, it's like oh, you're not being ignorant. You're smart enough to form a 
joke about this, whatever it is. But Burt Kreischer's a fucking idiot. <laughs> and he, I'm, it's, I go back and forth about that man. I know, it's confusing. I, sometimes I'm like, oh, he's so lovable. And other times he's fucking, he, he's been calling it, uh, we've been code talking. It's like, dude, it's code switching. I know that doesn't sound, just say the thing right. Nightmare. What are you? What is wrong with you? Grew up in Florida. So it's it's like the it's like crocodile DNA is in a him. cesspool. I know it's so stupid. Yeah, dude. But you he's know how funny. bad Florida is. How bad? Florida has the only baseball team that tested positive for COVID. <laughs> you fucking son of a bitches, ruin it for everyone else again. That's so funny. Fucking assholes. So do you think Jalene Jizlene Gizlene? What is her name? Jelaine. Jelaine. Did you watch that documentary on Netflix? No, it got to me. De- <sighs> is what is it? It got me depressed, and I didn't want to get depressed. Dude, I think you need to watch like one episode, and you're like, I get it. What what happened? <laughs> it's just like this. It's kind of the same old shit, like repeated. Just sure. like this is what happened to me. It's just like different girls, and then they get into the island, and just like. It's dark, man. So what did? But she's she, going to jail for sure. Well, she's gonna die. Yeah. But do you? Th- Hopefully not. If she doesn't, there's there's so much going on right now. Did you see the video that Andrew Schultz made the other day? About yeah, about uh, about Trump, Jelaine, and the why this election is so important because they can both pardon her and not get arrested for being pedophiles. But if they if they. <laughs> The fact that that's legal. <laughs> what? If so, if they but if they pardon oh, her, pardons are the dumbest thing yeah. ever. If they pardon her, though, then it's like, well, why did you do that? Right. Publicly speaking, they're you just and, and Trump the other day was like, uh, somebody asked her, somebody asked him, like, how do you feel about like Jelaine Maxwell or whatever something? And he was like, ah, oh, well, frankly, I I wish her the best. Yeah. And it's like, how do you say that to a pedophile, dude? Did she touch the girls too? Yeah. She was like involved. She was like the groomer Um, and then also like. Headmistress. Yeah. But she also was like in there. Right. From the stories anyway. That's. What is it about? You know what? Never mind. I'm going to say it, but I already answered it in my head. I was going to say, what is it about powerful people wanting to molest children but inherently it's about power in and of itself so it makes sense yeah. that people who <laughs> desire power would also want to rape i don't think it does i don't think it makes sense it makes sense in the in their brain right okay but that doesn't mean it no it i mean sense. like you know i'm saying like if you if you have a desire for power just power in and of Why itself you just get hookers dude i don't think that why does it be underage That's i think weird it's part of the power thing i guess uh, but it has to be some kind of sexual attraction too. You think so? Yeah. No, cause they because they because are there not they bi- rape in prison billionaires and shit that ha- don't fuck little kids. I doubt it at this point. Bill Gates, <laughs> you think Bill Gates a pedophile? I don't know. Let's be honest. I don't know. I don't know what's real anymore. I don't Will. think Bill Gates. Is I don't a think I don't think Bill Gates is a pedophile. Nor is Jeff Bezos. But no. but what I do think, but like there are people that think that anybody over like. A certain ta- like within a certain tax bracket, yeah, they're all pedophiles. Well, it's but I think it's like okay. How long ago did the did the Epstein thing come out? The, mm, the documentary or like uh, the, the, the it in and of it is a big like thing. Two thousand sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, in the year, I think two thousand eight, two thousand nine. If I were to tell you, or someone were to tell you. Yeah, there's a, a a rape island where they ship billionaires and potentially the ex presidents shipped children there to go rape and then leave. You would be like that. No, I'd be like, how do I get a ticket <laughs> <laughs> at 17 years old? <laughs> yeah, technically, <laughs> technically, you would be doing nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all. I'd be making money. <laughs> but like. I wouldn't believe this if it wasn't for the times we live in. Right, because like when you're when you're a normal person and somebody's like a billion dollars, you're like, oh my God, I could pay my credit cards, I yeah. could get a new house, I could get new cars, and they're just like, yeah, this is my income. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't know how you get bored having that much money. I think like, it I, just doesn't make sense, you know? I think it's lack of struggle. I think that's why it's Karen's so are mad. Up. Yeah, fuck them all. It's because I'm so over wh- old white women. I'm tired I of them. I just can't, dude. I'm with Bill Burr. I, 
his paper tiger thing about so good. Oh my god, like old white. Don't get me wrong. Old old white dudes need to shut the fuck up too. But old white women are loud about it, mm-hmm. like especially loud and screechy and so entitled. Dude, I I helped my cousin. My cousin moved in out here about half hour away, mm. and um. He's not out here, but his wife is out here. So I was helping her like move, like because they got a pod, you know, those big like pod storage things. They just ship them out. Yeah. So I was like helping them unload, and it was like my cousin's wife and then her parents, and her mom was her dad was cool. He was funny. He was making me laugh. It was it was cool, but her mom was just like just complain about everything just the the way they packed the thing yeah the f- like fucking her shoulder hurts it's uh, it's just everything every little thing it's like lady can you just shut the fuck up i'm just doing things you know what i think it is what do you think it is aaron Chase? Right, here's 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 why white women old white women do the things they do it's the fault of chivalry oh let me explain let me explain Black women did not experience chivalry. Black women did not experience chivalry. Mexican women did not experience chivalry. Asian women did not experience chivalry. They got shit on and beat. Right. White women. That's were why the, they're the chosen ones. That's why. <laughs> that's why all of. That's why like black women, and that's why just women of color are able to like get through shit. Yeah. And even I'll. You even, don't see no single white no. Moms you don't. <laughs> you no, know, with, with the little red bandanas on their yeah, head, you don't see that you shit. Fucking hookers. But, <laughs> but it's it's like chivalry was made for them specifically. Mm. They, it feels like they walk around thinking they should be wearing tiaras at all times. Yeah, like opening the door for them, paying for shit for them. They they calling the manager. That is some shit. I remember the first time I experienced a um, calling the manager on my behalf, and I was super uncomfortable with it. I was with an, uh, I'm not going to say specifically who this person is. I was with one of my ex-girlfriends, and we were on a trip. Okay. And we went to a place. All right. That required a hotel. Uh-huh. And I guess the, um, God damn it, I already feel bad about even saying, because I, li- I really like this person's mom. Okay. I don't think I want to say it. Too late. Just no, that's not it. how the rules work. Just say it. You're like halfway through the story. Stop being Tom Segura to my I Bert Kreischer. I'm not even. You're halfway through the story. You can't just leave the listeners hanging, dude. That's rude. <sighs> All right. I'll preface by saying I love this lady. You don't even have to say that. I do, though. It's an ex, dude. Nobody gives a shit. I don't care about her. I care about her mom. Yeah. Does she matter? Yeah. No. Wrong. Go ahead. Tell the story. Tell us the story, Aaron. So so the pool was closed. Oh, (laughs) shit. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, dude. If there's a reason to call a manager, it's because the fucking pool is closed. God damn it, I need my chlorine. But the, yeah. the irony is we were walkable distance from the beach. It was like... That's different. Uh, okay, whatever. The pool Fresh is closed. Fresh water, salt water. Sure. The pool is closed. Fucks up my hair. You don't have hair. I'm the, talking in Karen's. Oh, fair enough. But the pool is closed. And in, in my head, it would have never even occurred to me yeah. to say any... It was just, In my head, it's like... Oh, the pool's oh, the closed. closed. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think I think my girlfriend at the time was bothered by it, and then brought it up to her mom. And her mom called and fucking asked for the manager. And we didn't get we got a some shit for free. I can't remember what it was, but we got some shit for free. And I'm gonna veer this away from this person specific specifically because I really like this woman. But the older white women in general, there's this like. Dude, do you want Thor's hammer of fly swatters? No, thanks. It has electrical. Oh, no, I'm good. Because I'll fucking zzz yeah on myself. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Killing a fly with an electrical fly swatter yeah. is the most satisfying thing. You should get one of those things that hangs. And oh. It doesn't work. Oh, well, the you f- need uh, one that works, dude. No, like the flies, they won't go in there. Oh, I don't think it's for flies. It's for um, mosquitoes. Moths yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. like that. Stupider animals. <laughs> Can you believe there's something stupider than a fly? I can't. 
I uh, I kill a lot of them in here. There's one. There's a carcass right there on the the ladder. See it? I do. Yeah. I leave I leave the the fly carcasses around as a warning. It's a war. It's like when it's like when, when they used to put bodies on and stakes. Yeah, and shit. yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. when you come in here, I want the flies to know like yeah, this is what you're getting into. Bro. Yeah. When we start civilization over again, that's what we're gonna have to do yeah. to mark our territory. Just dis- severed fly heads, e- little well. tiny on little toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> people are gonna come up to him like, "Oh fuck, don't cross yeah, that. Yeah, this yeah. is haunted land." That's um, what I want. I want people to think that where I am is cursed. That works. That's a good way to deter. Right? It's uh, like a and it, and it creates like a Scooby Doo mystery. Yeah, they say the land is cursed. What was that? All right. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, it was my character, dude. It was a good character. Whatever great, character it was, it's a great character. Well, they say the land is cursed. Okay, uh, <laughs> but it's in Mexico. Oh, is it? I don't know. No. Well, you haven't been practicing Spanish, have you? No. Okay. Why? You should get on that shit, man. Uh, I don't. I don't feel like it. Okay. Good. When shit hits the fan, and I'm the only one who can talk to the border patrol, I think I'll be all right. Okay. Fair enough. I see it. I see. I see what you did My there. My beautiful, your beautiful skin. ivory skin. What is it like for you right now? <laughs> it's normal. It's not different at all. Really? Yeah, dude. It's so scary. I I feel. I feel more worried about my black friends, right, and stuff. Uh, not just like physically, but like emotionally also. Yeah. But it's like I don't know what I can do for you slash them. Yeah. You know? So that's weird. Just know, I just want them all to know that I'm an ally. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it makes sense. And it's like, but I'm just going about my life. I wish I could do that. Yeah, you don't really have that choice right now. No. I hit like on people's Facebook posts that are in support of Black Lives. And yeah, yeah, you, did, I, I su- you did your duty. I support that. Martin Luther King Jr. Also, would be so I told proud. you. I told you how I'm uh, doing my part. Yes, you did. Yeah. We can't discuss that. I'm not going to discuss that. Um, it's job related. Yeah, yeah. But that's also weird to me. I think that might be why, because you're not an idiot, or you're a different type of idiot. Yeah. You're not a racist idiot. Right. Um, but Thank God. Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> I think that these guys or these people are still living their lives in relative normalcy, at least in that regard. Mm. So they're not seeing, they never have seen it, but they're still not seeing like my life is, since this motherfucker has got into office, my life has gotten harder and harder and harder. Yeah. And makes every, sense. every time I'm, I hear, well, the economy, but he does these policies. I don't give a fuck if my, if my li- if I'm gonna die because he's emboldening racist people. Mm. I don't give a shit what policies he's enacted. Right, and mm. I have to keep saying this to people over and over on the strat to be like, well, they they say the same shit. Well, he's done this, this, and this, and it's like, well, the, he has made my life harder. I don't honestly. I don't like Democrats or Republicans. I don't like either of the shit. Right. And I don't care who is in office as long as you leave me alone. Mm. And they're not leaving me alone. So now we have a problem. You fucking libertarian. Huh? I guess. Yeah. Whatever. What, what, th- I don't like the Democrats. Joe Biden. Why the fuck <sighs> is he the guy? If Honestly, if we had Bernie as the guy, I would be not concerned. I actually think he would win. He probably would. Yeah. I don't think Biden will. He, no, he won't. Supposedly, he won't. my views align with Biden's policies, but I'm not going to vote for him. He, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter out here. It doesn't. I'm going to vote third party just to add, a, to add in statistics to it to be like so people can see like other people want an option. Yeah. But it would be nice if they included at least one other party. Just one. I get a three party system at least. That would be a such a good balance. Yeah. And probably would end up happening. I think this is why the Democrats, Republicans don't want that. Is because whatever the third party is would have to have a balance to it. Yeah. And then everybody would be like, oh, that seems reasonable. Right. Right. Yeah, dude. Being on Congress or like Senate seems like it would suck. Yeah. <laughs> Just everything. Uh, yeah. I go. Ugh. I miss OG quarantine. 
When it was raining? Uh, right after we got our $1,200 checks? Yeah. <laughs> when it was raining? <laughs> I miss Tiger King quarantine. <laughs> yeah, dude. Remember when it was yes, like... Yes, it was like happy fun. Like it was still yeah. like, ah, oh, look at us on quarantine. Yeah. Like we're in fucking 1920. <laughs> you know? It, like it's the Spanish flu. It was like the calm before the storm. It was like everyone has to chill out for a little bit. And we, everyone was, you know, we're all quiet. Everything was cool. And then, and then the storm hit, and now it's exhausting mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah, I yeah, dude. I'll like pull up like Facebook, and I'll start scrolling, and I'll actively be like, I gotta get off of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just being like, <clears throat> like I can't take this in right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I like to like keep tabs, but like at a certain point, I'm just like, I fucking I can't. I'm guessing your hometown's a cesspool. <clears throat> yeah. S- It's. I don't really talk to people. Right yeah, now, so yeah. I don't really know what's going on I mean, besides like my dad. But I went on Father's Day. My family, we all spent a good hour just exchanging police brutality experiences. Whoa. Yeah, my dad was telling me stories. He was like, they used to so in L.A. and on hot days they would pull them over. Then they would make them put their hands on the oh yeah like on the hood on the hood where the <clears throat> where the engine was mm-hmm. and if you left your if you put your hands up they would they would draw their gun and they'd be Jesus like Jesus Christ yeah he was telling me stories about that my sister was um, they were celebrating Juneteenth and the cops got called and um, they were like you can't uh, shoot off fireworks for Fourth of July yet and they're like well we're celebrating Juneteenth. And, and, they're appara- like, and they're like, "What's that?" No, they got it. They got mad, and they got into. They got. They went back and forth. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened exactly after that, but my family's fine right now. Um, they broke into my sister. Someone called saying they thought someone broke into their house, so the cops came and apparently they broke in. They broke in the house, guns a blazing, and they like they they were pointing guns at my sister who was uh, who was taking a nap or some shit like. That's crazy. Yeah. My my stories seem tame. Mm. And they're not. So Right. It's like I don't have any stories <laughs> like that. Not even close, dude. Every time I've gotten pulled over, they've just given me a warning. Really? Yeah. You haven't ever gotten a ticket? Nope, just oh, parking tickets. God. That don't count though, right? It's not a traffic ticket. The the time that me, Jonathan, and Nolly got <laughs> pulled over out of state. So fucking scary. Bet in the middle of the desert. Middle, it was like <laughs> it was fuck that. It's one of those uh, industrial areas. Oh, at they night, just put you in an incinerator. Oh, and just yeah. leave you. <laughs> it's terrible. The barriers with all the other victims of the mob. Yeah. It, man, I just, I'm ready for this to be over, and there is no over. It's not gonna be over. Yeah. I don't think I'm breaking. Like, I think I'm okay, but... It's just over it. What? You're just over it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's, you know... Have you ever... Appreciated... Suffering? Yeah, but not like... I, I'm going to read I'm going to re reword this. There was a point pre-COVID where um, victimhood was like a badge of honor. Mm-hmm. It was like a little token that you could use. Mm-hmm. And I remember feeling that a little bit, having like, oh, I can say what I want. I'm black, whatever. And I was like, I And being know. a rape victim. And yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome uh, thanks, for bringing bro. that back up. <laughs> <laughs> the memories. Uh, it was a white woman. Um, just to clarify. But... Uh, I remember feeling, yeah, let's the, even the rape thing. I remember feeling like, oh, it, it, there is a currency with being a victim to a degree. And now, a social currency. There's a social currency. Yeah. Now, that's gone. And I'm just a victim with no currency. Mm, like, I, interesting. Yeah, does that make. Yeah, but finally, you know? Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I would rather have some of the currency. Yeah, but it shouldn't be used as a currency. I agree. And it's not. I'm just <laughs> existing now, and I can't fucking exist. Yeah. 
Did you you saw the 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 flags? Yeah, I made sure to turn up my Nas that I was playing on my way in here. I walked past the. Did you see the Blue Lives Matter bar? I walked past that house when they some of them were outside, and they like they wouldn't look at me. And I don't know if it was because they were ashamed or if because if they were angry or what it was. Maybe they just didn't care. No, because it <laughs> felt no, because you, you could feel the yeah. Were you looking at them? Yeah, waving, and they're still ignoring you. <laughs> hey, friend. Hey, what you got hanging there? Um, I know. What that, do, What does this mean? Yeah, I don't. Can you explain it? I've never <laughs> seen this one before. Um, and then there's another lady right down the street who has one in her window who looks infuriated when I walk by. Like, she looks like I just got done fucking her granddaughter. She looks so mad at me. You just should. I, I really should. I should just fuck all the white women. Yeah. I've been working on it, but it takes a long time. Just start hopping fences around. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, what was that movie, the 80s movie, where uh, Ferris Bueller, when he's hopping the... Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but mm. no, it's it's it. What's weird is like people being mad at you for your existence, just how you look. Yeah, so crazy. It is d- just that I exist in this neighborhood. Well, I've gotten mad at people for existing, but not in the same capacity. What capacity were you mad? Like you're in my way. <laughs> oh, but they're in their... It's not because of their color. It's just like, you're. I wish you weren't here right now so that I could go. Like driving? Like traffic? Sure, yeah. But th- Even walking. It's like, dude, what, could you not exist right now? But they're doing a thing to you. Yeah, I was joking. No, no, no. Being facetious again. No, I believe you that Sorry. you're a racist. <laughs> I'm interpreting everything as you're a racist. Uh, um, <laughs> I, but I, I know what you're saying. That like, sometimes it's it's... It's like, oh, fuck, I, traffic. I'm like, can all these people stop existing? Yeah. But because they are, whether that is an okay or fair belief is one thing, but it's because they're actively affecting me. Right. I am not affecting this lady. Right. I just am walking my dog. Yeah. I mean, and maybe she doesn't like your dog. Everyone loves it. <laughs> that is impossible that she doesn't like that dog. There's no, that dog's white. That dog has That's blue true. eyes. That's There's true. no way she doesn't like that dog. I maybe she's mad that I have the dog. It's like he doesn't deserve man, it. I don't know, man. And then, but then you, and it's so it's frustrating because then you're angry and you want to lash out. Like I want to throw a fucking rock through her window. Yeah, like what are you looking at, bitch? Yeah, yeah. But then it just gives them more incentive, right? Right. And you can't fucking win Mm -hmm. i was the the people who were offended uh that i was talking to they were like i don't understand why you couldn't just kneel after the national anthem it's like you wouldn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything and it wouldn't have mattered you would have been mad fuck you you would have been mad regardless (laughs) you would have been mad regardless yeah and what if like if after the national anthem he like went out to center field and and then took took a knee knee. it was you'd be like what the fuck is he doing it it it's like you can't win with these people. Mm, yeah, I think I really think they have to. I I'm all hail King Killmonger. I think maybe we should bring back his idea. Did you watch the? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, Black Panther, Michael B. Jordan's character. He basically implies they should commit genocide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Except for you, you're cool. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I mean, I think every black person should just start making a list of like people, like cool white people right. they like. And then when all the black people and like Mexican people finally get along and they can like decide to get rid of white people, then everybody goes except for these people though. Right. That'd be cool. Right. Yeah. All right. So okay. make a list. Check it twice. And tell your other black friends to make their list. So that when it goes down, we have a roster <laughs> and a database of cool white people. Do you think I read think there might be a civil war and and I, I i just don't know how it's gonna work neither do i but i and i can't tell if i'm being paranoid or not or if it's just the environment i'm in that has me emotionally tense it, i genuinely don't know what's gonna happen yeah i mean people are gonna be mad <clears throat> regardless of who wins this yeah i'm gonna be mad so, if joe biden wins i'm gonna be mad if trump wins yeah but like i'm gonna be less mad if joe biden wins 
it's weird because if if Trump wins, you're going to see rational backlash. If Biden wins, you're going to see irrational backlash. And it's going to be like it's going to be to a level that's worse than when Trump was elected. Do you, you remember how like people were like, I was crying. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, OK. I. I and people are protesting. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something. Di- I don't know, cause like, people like that haven't don't really protest, right, or well. Which ones? The same people that were like at Michigan's Capitol oh, with assault yeah. rifles. Oh and my god! <laughs> like, and it's like that's that's not how you peacefully protest, and ah, especially if, see, dude, that's why you gotta have a buzzer thing. God damn it! What Sorry. was that, man? Fly. God damn it! Bit you? No, I just hit my hand really hard. I hate flies. Okay. Anyway, um, I, 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 okay. If Trump wins, I don't think we'll have a civil war because pe- the reasonable backlash will be reasonable. Yeah. If Biden wins, <clears throat> I can see. Yeah. I can see them bearing arms and going out and just indiscriminately mm. killing people or killing, not indiscri- Those discriminately. That oppose them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can see that's what I think that's what is, is maybe that's why I'm so nervous in this neighborhood. The closer it gets to November, the more nervous I get because I'm already I already can't walk my dog anymore. Right. Like it, I can't walk her at in the heat mm-hmm. and I can't do it at night anymore. Um, and if if they just start killing black people. I mean. I'm here. Like, it's right. very easy right. to get to me. Yeah. I'm surrounded by these people. And they all know who I am. They all they see the dog. They see the fucking hair. They know what my car looks like because it's the jankiest piece of shit you in the neighborhood. Keep a lower profile, man. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other, dude, the street stand up thing. When I found out what happened in Portland, do you know what happened? What? Which part, dude? Oh, uh, fair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the snatching people. Yeah. Then when I found out about that, I was like, oh, this is getting real bad, especially for someone like me who's kind of developed a little bit of a following as a faux activist almost. Right. It's like, I, and I want to be clear, like I'm not, I'm a comic. I'm just a fucking comic. Don't make faces. You could get me killed. <laughs> you could get me fucking killed. No, I just, I'm just a comic. <clears throat> and this is what I'm supposed to talk. There's nothing else to talk about. That's the other thing. When I go out there, I'm like, all right, this time I'll talk about uh, candy and salt or whatever. And, and it just whoop. It always, always comes right back to this because it's like you can't not acknowledge it. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's, it's not it's too prevalent. Way too prevalent. Yeah. And... Yeah, and they they recognize me. They know what I look like, and that's really fucked up and scary. Super scary. And yeah, are you gonna turn out like Michael Jackson, bro? What? What happened to Mike? What? Did Michael he... Jackson was telling too many secrets. Is that what it was? And he got fucking drugged, bro. Okay. Well, I that's think that's the conspiracy. There's so many of those. <laughs> There's so many of those conspiracies yeah. with aliens now. What's going on with the aliens? I haven't been following it, but the Pentagon. Has been releasing more information about UFOs. I don't fucking know exactly. Basically, they are saying they're real. <laughs> yeah. Which it's like 2020. We're like, fucking, what else? You yeah, know? okay. Okay. That doesn't, you know what's crazy is. It's like, well, it's like, we, we kind of knew. Yeah. You know? I it's had, like Santa Claus. Like, you know, you know, like, at some point, you go, okay, I kind of know he's not real. And UFOs at a certain point, you're like, all right, like they have to be real. But I have a white people thing. Okay. Okay. I had a, I was talking with a lady on the street, and she was bringing up conspiracies. And she was like, I mean, have you noticed that all of this racial stuff gets brought up right before an election, and then it becomes a big hullabaloo? Uh, and I let her go on her long rant, and I was like, no, this is a day-to-day for me. This, it, this gets brought up for you. It's it's a it's all of a sudden for you, but it is every single day I am thinking about this. <laughs> it's they've made conspiracies about racism for the election. <coughs> right. It's yeah, and then and then I rile myself up and I get angry 
And then I'm like, all right, I need to chill out, think about something else. But I don't know what else to think about, so I get in this loop. I don't know. Yeah, people, I don't know. It's like people who can't think rationally right now. Like, they just get fed information, and yeah. they're just like, oh, okay. Then my feeble brain, that makes sense. Yeah, whatever information they want. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What? Clickbait, dude. <sighs> yeah. How long have we been doing this? Uh, hour 20. Okay. Do you want to wrap up soon? Yeah. Um, We should probably start doing this again. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Do we maybe set a schedule? Or I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. Yeah, uh, that sums it up. Uh, do you want to wrap it up or should I? You should totally wrap it up. Okay. I Thank you, up. Aaron Chase, for joining me for another episode of Night Guy and Baldy. Thank you for providing the wheelchair for me to sit in. This is actually one of the most comfortable podcasts I've done in a while. Um, make sure you're following that at, at the Buddy System Co. on Instagram. Visit our website, thebuddysystem.co. You can find all our podcasts on that website and on our YouTube. Uh, just search the Buddy System Comedy. It'll come up. Um, follow Aaron Chase on Instagram at AaronChase91. He posts when he's going to be going out under the street in his stories, so keep up on that. You can follow me at the underscore Slim Henderson on Instagram at Henderson on Twitter. And I think that's about it. This has been episode 14 of the Night Guy and Baldy podcast. Good night.